In lesson 90, today we're talking about algebraic sentences. Now we've seen a lesson like this before, but the difference between this lesson and the one we've seen is that we're going to have algebraic sentences rather than phrases, meaning we'll have an equal to sign in our problem as well. So, our first word sentence says, five more than a number is nine. So if we have five more than a number, we're going to take that number plus five, because it's five more than a number, is 9. So equals 9. Because that word is always means equal to. We could figure this out if we wanted. We know that n would be equal to 4 because 4 plus 5 is 9. Let's look at our next problem. Twice a number is 11. Twice a number? That must be 2 times n. Twice a number is 11? Well, we've got our problem all solved. We've written our algebraic sentence. The next one says, 1 less than 3 times a number is 14. So 1 less, well that must mean subtraction. And 1 less than 3 times a number, well 3 times a number must be 3 times n, minus 1, because it's 1 less than that. The whole thing is equal to 14. So we've written our algebraic sentence given this word sentence. We've got one more here. 6 times a number increased by 5 is 17. So increased by, that must mean to add. So if we have 6 times a number, increased by 5 plus 5 is equal to 17. And we've got our algebraic sentence written from our word sentence. It's important we have this skill because in this lesson not only are we going to be writing algebraic sentences from word sentences, but we'll be solving them as well. We've got one example to look at. Here it says, the sum of twice a number and 42 is 128. We need to find the number. Now in order to find the number, we first need to write out an algebraic sentence. So we need to take this word sentence and turn it into numbers and variables. So the sum of twice a number and 42. Sum means add, and we're adding 42 to twice a number. So we're going to get 2n, twice a number, plus 42, because we're finding the sum, is, well, that must mean equal to, 128. And now we can solve. We're going to solve this by beginning with subtraction of 42, because we want to undo the addition of 42. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side in order to balance out what we did on the, oh, we're going to do the same thing on the right side in order to balance out what we did on the left side. So we're going to get 2n, 42 minus 42, that's 0, that's good, that's what we were trying to do, is equal to, when we subtract, we're going to get 8 minus 2, that's 6, and 12 minus 4, that's 8. So 2 times some number is equal to 86. Can you figure out what that number is in your head? It must be half of 86, because we've got to multiply the number times 2 to get there, so it must be 40. 3. Now if you could figure that one out in your head, very good. If you didn't get that one in your head, that's okay, because to undo multiplication of 2, we can divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we get n by itself. Balance it out by dividing by 2 on the right side, and 86 divided by 2 must be 43. We've got our answer. Key for these word problem sentences is to write them out as algebraic sentences, then solve them to find the number. Read the directions carefully to know that you actually do have to find the number when you're solving this one, and not just write out the algebraic sentence with numbers, variables, and operations and symbols. Lesson practice will be on page 284. Make sure you've got your notes complete, and I'll see you during our next class.